your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Funco. Hey investors, today let's dive into Manba Finance Looted and see if it's worth your hard-earned money. As of October 25th, 2024, Manba Finance Looted is trading at RS1 Form 44, down by 4.36% today. The company has a market cap of RS722 crore. Over the last year, the stock hit a high of RS172 and a low of RS125. Manba Finance boasts a price-to-earnings ratio of 23.0. The book value per share is RS70.4 and the dividend yield sits at 0.17%. The return on capital employed is 13.9% and the return on equity is 17.0%. Founded in 1998, Manba Finance is a non-banking financial company. They offer financing for new and electric two-wheelers, three-wheelers, used cars, small business and personal loans. By partnering with two-wheeler dealerships, they make financing accessible at the point of sale. Manba Finance also provides small personal loans for needs like medical emergencies and education. Compared to peers like Bajaj Finance and HDFC Asset Management, Manba Finance's P.E. ratio of 23 is quite median. On the quarterly front, Manba Finance's sales and operating profits are on the rise. Sales are projected at RS 65 crore for September 2024, up from RS 35 crore in June 2023. The balance sheet shows total assets of RS 1,263 crore with borrowings of RS 891 crore. Equity capital has risen from RS 9 crore in 2019 to RS 50 crore in 2024. Promoters hold a significant 74.98% stake with institutional investors at 7.22% and the public holding 17.88%. To wrap up, Manba Finance Lutet has potential but faces some financial challenges. Weigh these factors carefully when considering your investment. That's it for today. Remember, always do your own research before investing. Thanks for watching. Before you go though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks.